Hi, this is Rick Eimer with the Palo Alto Weekly, and we're here today with Timothy Weymouth. He is our Athlete of the Week from Gunn High School. He is a senior. He won the 152-pound title at the uh, Santa Clara Valley Athletic League Finals uh, just this last weekend, and uh, four pins, all pins. So, I mean, he did a tremendous, and for the, for the record, he did beat a Palo Alto kid in the final, which is always exciting for, for either team. Uh, so let's start there. Let's start about the, uh, the league finals and talk about just your progression through the rounds. Sure. Um, in my first rounds, I had, I think, some less experienced kids, but in the semifinals, I was able to get a decent match. And then I had Halo Lynch in the finals, which was a good match. Um, he definitely tested me. And so that was exciting to be able to wrestle someone else from Palo Alto, especially in the finals. That was great. Um, and yeah, I, I had a really good time throughout the tournament. Um, and I thought it was, it, was a, it was a good tournament. It was a good two days for me. Now, you mentioned something about uh, you and Halo go back a little ways, I guess. Uh, you know, kind of talk about your relationship with him. Right. So I was in eighth grade when he was in sixth grade. He was a wrestler as well. Um, and then two years back, I coached um, Terman wrestling. And he was at, at, at GLS. So we, we ran into each other a couple of times. He wrestled some of my wrestlers. And so... It was good to be able to see him in, in high school and be able to meet up with him and, and see how he's progressed throughout the years, and that was awesome. Yeah, that's great. And you had two other wrestlers in the, in the finals uh, from Gunn, and I guess that's always a motivating factor to, to be able to cheer for your teammates. Kind of talk about, uh, you know, was it Ko and, and uh, I know Dash Lee. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Ko had, a, Ko had a tough match against another Palo Alto wrestler, and so that was great to be able to see him um, wrestled a tough match in the finals, and Dash obviously went out with uh, a big throw and was able to pin his guy. So it was exciting cheering on my teammates and being there as a team, which was really cool. Right, and again, Dash obviously was after you because, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that then you were a pure fan. Before that, maybe right. not, not so much. Right. But uh, now also, you know, you have these hairstyles <laughs> that we want to talk about, and uh, what's the story behind that? So after um, Scavals, we were talking about it kind of jokingly about us bleaching our hair for CCS. And then um, I guess it just, we started planning it and it happened. So yesterday we all got together, all the seniors who qualified for CCS and, and we bleached our hairs at my house. So that's what you guys are seeing now. But yeah. Oh, that's terrific. I think that's kind of cool being, yeah. you know, for unity purposes and things. Now. Absolutely. You have uh, five wrestlers, I guess, going to CCS. I, I, that's fairly important. You don't want to be alone down there. And right. kind of just talk about what you guys have, uh, you know, coming up. Sure. So we have next four days to prepare. So I think we're going to be going back and forth between being here at Gunn and then being at Pali. So we're going to be able to roll around with some of the Pali kids as well. And that'll be good in our preparation. But next four days are just kind of like a grind. So getting ourselves prepared physically and mentally for the CCS. Right. I mean, you could be wrestling quite a quite a many. The, the easier to make it easy for yourself, obviously, you want to win that first match. Otherwise, it's uh, it can be a long haul. But uh, kind of talk about that. You know, like you said, it's a grind. But it, it's is it more it's more mental than than physical or both? I would say it, it's a combination of both. In the last week, most of your technique that you have is already in the barn. It's it's all about just mentally preparing yourself and being able to go out there with a the mindset that everything you've learned throughout your wrestling career is being tested, especially in your senior year, because this could be it for a lot of the kids that are wrestling. Um, so I think it's, it's a lot of mental preparation in the last week, just being there and being completely present. Um, so, so when Friday, Saturday comes, you're ready to wrestle and you're ready to do your best. Right, and what, uh, you know, senior day was always special. I saw some of the pictures. It was really cool. Uh, kind of talk about the emotions. Do you look and say, wow, where did this four years go? Or, or, is it, or what do you think about? Yeah, I definitely, I couldn't believe that it was our last dual meet. And, you know, maybe the last dual meet I'll have. Um, definitely last dual meet with these people that I've been wrestling with for four years. Um, so it was, it was a little emotional, you know, being thinking back on all of the hours I've spent in the room drilling, um, all the practices and, and seeing it all kind of go by so fast. The senior year has really gone by really fast. So um, it was definitely exciting to be able to go to Scavals and, and do well, but that, that last dual meet was, was special, yeah. 
Right. And hopefully, uh, after this week, there'll be another meet for you. So, I mean, does that, that uh, you know, how important would that be for you to, to advance beyond CCS? Definitely. That's the plan. The plan is to go to States. Um, I fell short last year by one match, and um, this year, there's no room for error, you know, so we got to make it happen. Um, but I'm looking forward for CCS just to be able to go out there and wrestle my best and, and hopefully do the best that I can and, and show everything I've learned um, throughout my wrestling career. So we've been talking to Timothy Weymouth. He is our Athlete of the Week from Gunn this week. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. And if you want to find out about next week's Athlete of the Week, press that subscribe button down below or visit us at pasportsonline.com.